So we did the following experiment. There's a, a, a mouse model of MS called the EAE model. You put a peptide of myelin in adjuvant, you give it to a mouse, and, and what I've plotted here is in, in the black, uh, black diamonds is the clinical score of these animals. And what you see is the uh, score of three, score of four means the animal's dead. Score of three means the animal can, cannot have a bowel movement, cannot walk, cannot eat on their own. They have to be hand treated by uh, uh, thoughtful technicians. At, at the time when they get a clinical score of three, we give them a single tail vein uh, injection of human. This is forbidden. All of you in medical school were taught you cannot put human cells into an immunoreactive mouse, right? Human, human, human into mouse, forbidden. We do it, and two weeks later, that mouse walks away completely cured of this MS. The mouse, uh, what's happened is the MSCs go to the sites of inflammation, they stop the immune system, they cause the intrinsic neural stem cells, remember, Reardon still has neural stem cells. We can help him. The intrinsic neural stem cells differentiate because of the molecules made by the MSCs into oligodendrocytes, and in serial sections of the central nervous system, we can show you those naked axons have become rewrapped by these new oligodendrocytes. That's curative for MS. We're doing a clinical trial at the Cleveland Clinic with autologous MSCs um, in, in, and allo MSCs uh, to try to cure MS. Uh, 2,000, over 2,000 patients, I don't know what the actual number is, but thousands of patients have been treated by Medistem technology uh, to, to try to uh, affect the course of MS. This is a real, this is a curative, potentially curative therapy, not palliative, curative. 